Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we have our HP laptop A14-DK1003DX. So we are revisiting well, one of our oldest laptops here. So we have an AMD Athlon Silver 3050U with Radeon graphics. It does have 15 gigabytes of shared GPU memory. We have 27.5 gigabytes of RAM available at 2400 megahertz. Our SSD capacity is 466 gigabytes. Here are the read and write speeds of the SSD. So let's get to some footage. I will put up some uh, split screen footage as well so that you can get a better idea of uh, comparing graphic settings. But for the first test, I did a one bar graphic setting, so the lowest. You are going to hit 60 FPS pretty easily, 5960. Uh, RAM usage is 3.1 gigabytes or 10%. GPU usage is 25%. CPU usage was about 50s, 60s, to even 100. So this is an entry-level CPU. Keep that in mind, the AMD Athlon Silver. So I don't like pushing the CPU too much. Because if you've seen our other gaming test, uh, the CPU is where the bottleneck kind of happens. So the second test, I did five bars for the graphic setting. And you're going to notice a... 2 to 3% increase in RAM usage. So 13%. FPS is still around 57 to 60 FPS. So it's pretty good. But you're going to notice more CPU usage. Um, I'll show you guys a, a better example later when we do the side by side. But GPU usage was 37% as well. So for the 10 bar graphics quality setting. CPU was about 80s to 100%. GPU is 47%. RAM usage is actually 13%, which is the same as 5-bar uh, graphics quality settings. But the difference is using the 10-bar graphics setting is the FPS. You're going to see it drop down to the low 30s. 30 to 35 FPS. Oh, in terms of these settings, I kind of left it on the default, but I noticed that shadows were off, kill effects were off, basic skins off. I don't even know what the ragdolls are, but it was on, and the subtitles as well. And the field of view was just defaulted at 70, so I went with that. So, pretty fun game. It definitely reminds me of Counter-Strike, even the controls are the same. I feel like if you're carrying that knife, you can run faster too, so pretty sweet. So, let's do our side-by-side. -side. First uh, comparison is the 5 bar graphics setting compared to 10 bars. So medium versus the maximum. So FPS, definitely a big difference in FPS there. Uh, 60 FPS compared to 47, 48. RAM usage, they're both at 13%. Like I mentioned earlier, um, I would recommend at least 8 gigabytes on this laptop if you're going to be playing Roblox Arsenal. GPU usage is about a 5% difference. So the uh, 10 bar graphics setting uses more GPU usage. CPU usage, like I said, for all of them, it's pretty much 100% most of the time, except one bar settings. You know, for me, if it was me, I would probably play one bar because I don't like uh, making the CPU struggle. It is an entry level CPU and wasn't really meant for gaming. So I'm actually kind of surprised that most of these games have been working on this laptop. So let's compare the 1 bar graphics setting with the 10 bar graphics setting. So CPU usage pretty much the same. Uh, except that it does drop down to 60s and 70s when, when uh, playing when 1 bar graphics. FPS you're looking at about 60 versus 41, 43. RAM usage is about a 2% difference. So not a very big difference. Oh yeah, so the golden knife. I'm not sure what's up with that. So I got it and I have no idea what to do with it. Or how to use it uh, very well. I don't know if there's a special button or something. So GPU usage is where the major difference is. 25% GPU usage in one bar graphics setting versus 42%. But overall though the game was pretty fun. And uh, I've never played this game before. So it was pretty interesting. And uh, some of the Roblox players are really good. Uh, I mean I was just surprised at uh, how good they were. And uh, it's pretty impressive stuff. But yeah, so I do hope you enjoyed this video. 
I will try to do more gaming tests once a week and one hardware test. Uh, we'll see, cause um, it does take a lot of um, uh, gameplay, so I have to like play the game a lot to get some good footage for the uh, video. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you everybody for watching. Take it easy.